Hey everybody! Welcome to Thinking of Pi. Today we'll be taking a look at joysticks. Now the joystick is really just a combination of two potentiometers, one for the X and Y axes, and then there's a push button. Since we already know how to use those, it should be pretty simple. Let's go take a look at it. All right, so we've got the same setup here with the PCF chip. We've got our joystick right here, and we've got our X and our Y axis here. And when you push it, it clicks. So there's the button. Now there's five pins on the side. We've got the ground, voltage supply. There's the X axis here on the yellow wire, the Y axis on the orange wire, and the switch is on this green wire at the bottom. We've got the X and Y wired over here to the PCF on pins 0 and 1. And since the button is a simple digital input, that's the green wire over here on GPIO 18. We'll be using our code to measure the positions of each of the potentiometers, as well as the position of the switch. So let's head over to the computer and take a look at the code. All right, so here's the code. Again, very, very similar to the last ones um, with the addition of Z pin right here. Z pin is going to be our push button. We're going to call that the Z axis. And everything else here is pretty similar. We've got our analog read, analog write, not using analog write today. And the setup. And right here, this is what we're going to be looking at. We'll be measuring the Z value on the Z pin. For the push button, we've got our Y axis wired to pin 0 on the PCF and the X value on pin 1 and then we'll just be printing the values down here and taking a look at the raw data. So let's go ahead and run this. So right now in the center position, everything's just pretty much centered out. The maximum values are going to be 255. So about right in the middle there with 223 and 226. Now when I move it up, you see the Y value go to zero. Move it down, Y goes to about 254. And if I move it to the left here, X value goes to zero. To the right, X value goes to 254. And if I click it, you see the Z value change and it works in all directions. So this would be useful if you're maybe making a game, if you're going to be using it for a RetroPie project, just about anything you can imagine. Pretty simple, pretty easy to use. Like I said before, it's just a combination of two potentiometers and a push button. So not a lot to it. Next time, we'll be taking a look at motors. Um, first video is going to be on a regular motor, then we'll be looking at servos and stepper motors. So it'll be more focused on analog outputs and we're going to be stepping away from the inputs for a little bit. But in the meantime, be sure to check out my other videos. Subscribe if you want to see more like this. And I'd love to read your comments below. Until then, I'll talk to you all next time. Thanks!